Good afternoon and welcome to Ben Kruiken. Good afternoon and welcome to Ben Kruiken. Well, I'm actually on Kruiken Dam at the moment. As you can see, if I just pan round here, Ben Kruiken is just behind me there. It's um, sort of late afternoon and I'm just going to try and get up to the top of Ben Kruiken to take some pictures for sunset. But I've got my work cut out. I've still got quite a bit of a scent to get from here from the dam up to the top of Ben Kruiken Summit there. But um, I'm optimistic. Hopefully the wind is going to calm down a bit or it can make the photography really challenging. But I'm excited. I'm in Scotland. I'm in my homeland. This is my home mountain. I grew up just in the foot of Ben Kruiken. So I'm really excited to be coming up here once again and hopefully getting some pictures. Speak to you in a bit. Well, here I am at the top of Ben Kruiken, 1,126 metres up, and the views are absolutely amazing. As much as I love to spend all evening up here just looking at this absolutely fantastic view, I'm a bit short of time. It's only about an hour before the sun sets and I'm probably going to have to leave the top of Ben Kruken before that happens because I don't want to be going down too much of the mountain in the dark even though I've got a head torch. So I'm going to set up. I've had a quick look about and I think there's a couple of compositions that I'm going to be able to shoot tonight. So let's get the camera set up, take some pictures. Okay, so I've got the camera set up there behind me ready for my first shot. It's looking down the ridge along the rest of the Kruiken peaks there and then out into the, the wider landscape and the mountains. Camera setup is dead simple. I've only got my D850 with me and the 24 to 70 so that should hopefully give me a, uh, some wide angles and some tight ones if I want. And it's a long old walk up here. It's quite steep in places. I really couldn't take a lot of camera gear so I kind of thought the 24 to 70 would be the best bet. Um, no need for a graduated filter, um, everything's pretty balanced. So like I say, I'm just gonna wait for that sun to drop down and then once I get that shot, I think the other shot I'm gonna get is looking down that way, down towards Oban. The light is already reflecting really nicely off the sea lock there. So I think there's definitely another shot here. Um, look, quite a bit of cloud about, unlike when we first started. So I'm actually quite optimistic, fingers crossed, that I might get a couple of good shots. But like I said earlier, I can't hang about too long because I've got to get back down this mountain. So yeah. I'll speak to you again in a second.
looks like I'm gonna have to call it a night. The sun has dipped down below that cloud and I've taken a couple of shots of the viewpoints that I wanted to. But the light seems to be quite diffused because of the distant cloud. And I'm not getting any light on the foreground, which is kind of what I, I would have hoped for. So um, I can't hang about up here all evening because like I said, I've really got to get down because it'd be uh, a bit dangerous for me to stay up here until the sun dropped. Um, I would not be able to get myself off the mountain. So I'm going to have to call it. But I think it's going to be one of those times where you've been out and it just looks amazing, but there's maybe just not a uh, picture to have. There's just not enough light on the mountains on the ground. The sky is pinking up really nicely but um yeah i think i'm gonna play it safe uh, and get down the hill but i have to say really enjoyed my time up here it's a really nice walk um and the views have been absolutely spectacular so as always great to be outdoors um never a waste of time um but yeah um i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.